Welcome to my channel guys. In today's workout, I'm going to share with you a one week workout plan that you can follow to get you on the path of having the best body of your life. If you want to gain muscle or if you want to gain muscle mass, this is the workout. If you want to burn fat, this is the workout for you. All right, so we have our total gym over here with the resistance bands, okay? But you can't really get a good workout without a plan. So what we're gonna do on day one, we're gonna hit chest and shoulders. Day two, we're gonna work back and obliques. Day three is all about the legs. Uh, day four is all about your arms, biceps, and triceps. And of course, day five, we're working core and your abs, okay? And as you can see here, the cool thing about this uh, resistant band package, they're color coded, but all of them have the poundage of tension, so you know exactly how much pounds you're using, okay? They also come with a leg strap, so you can work your, uh, work your thighs and, and leg muscles in different ways from different angles, okay? So let's get set up and let's rock and roll with this full body workout plan and workout schedule. Click. Good. And this one here as well. This click is really easy to set up and click. Good. And we're ready. So day one is all about chest and shoulders. Chest press, double arms. Squeeze your chest as you press. Chest press is one arm. Just make sure, because the tension is so intense to make sure that you're keeping your body nice and stable and let the muscle do all the work. Of course, you can always lighten it up if you have to. Chest press flies. Chest presses, incline. This is all about the upper chest. Decline presses. Decline is all about the lower chest. Shoulder presses. Tight form, tight technique. Front raise, make sure the bands are even. Start from the side of the body. Ladder raises. Rear fly band only.
Well done. So day two workout plan is about your back and your obliques. Let's get to it. So lat pull down, you're basically working the big muscles in your back, okay? So squeeze on the bottom, squeeze your back on the bottom. Second one is your lat pull. But this time you're using one arm, concentrating on your lats, okay? So the next one are your bent over row, okay? Bending knees, and you're literally doing, like the name says, you're bending over, and you're hitting all the mid back muscles in your back. Squeeze as you pull. Next one in your standing rolls. Okay, I like to stagger my feet and you're pulling it right back. Gives you a different perspective, different angle of your back muscles. So your good mornings, um, it's a great exercise because it's hitting your lower back, okay? The so way this will work is your hinge in from your hips, and when you stand up, you squeeze your lower back, okay? Nice control. Strengthen up that lower back muscle. So overhead side bend. It's all about those obliques. Keep your arms straight, crunch those obliques. That's how you're gonna get those Adonis abs. See the torso rotation. Now, this is an excellent exercise for those obliques, okay? Strengthen up the core muscle and those obliques, love handles. Wood choppers. Keep your head straight. Focus on pulling from your core muscles, okay? From your obliques. Well done. So day three is all about the legs and nothing else. We're gonna be hitting your leg muscles from every different angles. Glutes, hamstrings, thighs, calves, let's go. So first one are squats. When you stand up, you wanna make sure you're squeezing your butt. Okay. Now, as far as your leg goes, make sure that you're keeping your toes Nice and straight, don't flare them in, okay? Drop it down, pull it up. Now your second one are your narrow squats, okay? It's gonna hit your muscles a little bit differently. Feet together, pull them up. Feet together, pull them up and squeeze, okay? See how my legs are pinned together? Pin your legs together, okay? And then come up and squeeze them. Stationary lunges are the next ones, okay? Hold that band nice and tight, okay? And it's gonna engage your core muscles too. But you're hitting every single leg muscles in your legs, okay? 
butt, thighs, hamstrings, calves, okay? Of course, both sides. Keep your back nice and straight, okay? Stay focused, head straight, okay? And if you notice, that back leg stays nice and firm, okay? Toe behind the knee. For your deadlifts, okay? That's hitting everything back here, all right? So what you wanna do is scoot back to create more tension. If not, you can add a band or subtract a band. Okay, you're hinging from your hips, you're dipping over, and when you pull, you're pulling from your butt, hamstrings, lower back, and you're squeezing on top, okay? Let's go. So hip extension, you're pulling away, okay? Now that's to pull, you want your hip to do all the work, okay? Keep your foot nice and flat, okay? If the weight is too heavy, you can lighten up on your hips or the foundation for everything you do. Plus, you look good whatever you wear. Okay? Always both sides. one or your bridge without weight okay so you're bridging off of one leg squeeze your hips and squeeze your butt okay if you want to build that muscularity and strong shaped legs try doing these keep your heel off the floor and other side okay you're squeezing everything under there well done So day four is all about the biceps and triceps. Make sure you're keeping your elbows glued in. Okay, full extension. Squeeze the back of your arms for triceps. Tricep standing extensions. Once again, keep your elbows in. Full extension. So the standing triceps extension are really good because it really fries your triceps and really get that muscle back there to work. You're gonna gain muscle, you're gonna tone it up, and you're gonna get rid of those, I call them flabby arms. Just make sure you're squeezing. back, you're leaning your body over, make sure your elbows are staying as elevated as possible. Kicking your arms back, really, really hitting all three heads of your tricep. Ah, squeeze. Biceps, iso curls, you basically want to come up halfway mark and you just hold it. And that creates a lot of tension on your biceps, okay? See, you want to hold it at a 90 degree angle like that. And you hold it. No matter how tough it is, don't let up. Hold it, hold it, until you hit 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds, good job.
Well done. So on day five, we have core and abs, okay? It's all about your core and your abs. So that is your plan, that's your schedule for day five, okay? Let's go. Overhead crunches, arms overhead, and you're pulling right from your stomach. Now, your arms move with your body, okay? Don't move your arms by yourself. When you pull, make sure you're squeezing. Next one of your kneeling crunches. Yeah. Squeeze your abs, okay? Keep your arms attached to your body and let your stomach do all the work. workout torso rotation is you're hitting every single muscle group all of your obliques your waistline okay the deep cut app so make sure if you work out you're definitely adding this one to your workout plan okay it's a great schedule to keep when you're working out like this Well done. Great, great job. And that is your workout plan for gaining muscle, burning fat, and everything in between. So follow this plan. I'm challenging you to follow this plan, follow this schedule, and you will be amazed, because I feel amazing, and I sure hope that you do too. Okay, so that's the split routine. Like and subscribe to this channel. Also give me a thumbs up, okay, that you're enjoying this channel. Keep up those workout bands and to my friends at Fit Beast, thank you and I'll see you next time.